This video will go through the basic coding skills, setting up the initialize block, start motors, line following, turns and coding motors. Initialize. It is found in the line following tab and must be the first line of code. This block sets up the robot. By choosing the correct number of sensors, usually five for C202 and C203 robots, ensure they are also numbered correctly. No, one, two, three, four. For C202 robots, the power input will stay as one for both motors. For C203, the motors are hand-built cog systems and are reflections of each other. This means one of your powers must be minus one to stop it rotating in a circle. If a code is not running properly, check the initialize block first. Environment gathering. This tells the robot the line types and background. For most lines and all WER maps, a black line on white background is used. When you run the code on the robot, before the code runs, it will give you the option to calibrate your sensors. This is done by first placing the sensors completely over a black line and then completely over the white background. It is recommended this is done at the start of every session. If the robot is not following the black lines properly, recalibrate the sensors as the lighting in the room may have changed. Start motors. When using a start motor with the delaying checked, the speed of the motors is set by the user as well as the time they are running for. This can be used to get out of the box on WER maps. It also can be used when you do not wish to line follow or you wish to turn around. To turn around using start motors, one motor speed must be positive and the other one must be negative, such as if you want to turn left, the left motor should be a negative, while the right is positive and vice versa. For using the sensors option of start motor, you must set the light intensity for the robot to stop at. To check the light intensity of a line, go to port on the interface and hold the sensors over the line. Line following. Within the line following block, you can set the speed of the motors. There is no need to change the speed difference. You can also change the number of loops. Loops are the number of intersections the robot will stop at. One will mean the robot will stop at the first intersection, two will stop at the second, and so on. Ensure you have chosen the right side in which the intersection is on, left or right, and ensure you check car stops after completed. Turn. To turn the robot to stop on another line, use the turn block. You set the speed of each motor as you wish to turn, one motor must be positive and the other one must be negative. The stopped position should be middle. The robot will stop turning when the central sensor is on the line. Again, ensure car stops after completed. Time. This block follows a black line for a set amount of time at a set speed. Coding motors. To code motors and cog systems, you need the executor tab. Once you have built and attached a motor to an output port, start with a set motor block. Within this block, ensure only the motor you want to rotate is checked. Then set the speed. Once this is done, add a weight block. Here you set the time you wish for the motor to be rotating for. Finish with a stop motor. Again, check the motor port is checked.